year, the second Monday of January is Clean Off Your Desk Monday. So it made sense that we did a top 10 video with ideas on how to keep your physical and computer desk clean. Now, while many of you admitted that keeping your desk clean is not your greatest strength, we did get some fantastic ideas on what we need to do to ensure that we have a workspace that doesn't look like a tornado blew through. Our first tip comes from Heidi Howard from Atlanta, Georgia. Heidi says that she uses an old fashioned tickler file. You know the kind, the accordion file with dates on it. And at the end of each day of work, Heidi gathers up her papers, her files, her piles, and puts them in the next day section. And if there's anything in the next day session, she pulls it out and glances through it the day before, and then puts it in the items behind what is already in the file. Now, you can also develop an electronic tickler file in a program like OneNote as well to ensure that your electronic items are not cluttering up your desktop too. Preeti B from Scarborough, Ontario shares that she asks herself with every item, do I really need this on my desk? Now, how often do I use this for work? Good questions, right? Now, I've heard that if you don't use it every day, it shouldn't be on your desk. So put away the stapler, the paper clips, the loads of extra pens to unclutter your space. If you use it daily, keep it. If you don't, put it away. Jean Coco from Woburn, Massachusetts gives a simple trick we all need to embrace the trash. I heard a statistic years ago saying that something along the lines of, and don't quote me here, that 90% of the paper that we keep, we never look at again. Now think of all of those emails you have, all of those documents, all of that paper. Learn the discipline of knowing what you can trash because you will not need it again, or you've already got it. Our fourth tip comes from Laura Thewalt from Houston, Texas. Laura says that she finds time to clean up her desk at the end of each week. This way, when she comes to work on Monday, everything is all neat and tidy. Now, I know that some of you do that every night, but if that seems unreasonable, then find time or make time in your Friday schedule to start the next week with a clean desk and desktop. Michelle Morford from Marysville, Washington says that she doesn't save any of her files to her computer and she uses the company cloud for everything she saves. Now I do the same Michelle so that I don't need to ever worry about my computer crashing and me losing things. Nothing can be lost if it's saved to the cloud. Now I'll tie Janet Stewart from Ottawa, Ontario onto the next tip, which complements Michelle's find naming conventions for your filing system so that you don't need to think about where you've saved it. I've heard lots of different styles based on dates or clients' names or subject names and others, and I don't think that there's one perfect way to sort, but sorting is not optional. Find a filing convention that works for you so that you can find what you've saved to the cloud. Number seven and number eight come from Kim Picard from Embrun, Ontario. Her first rule is for paper, but you could apply it to electronic files and emails as well. Kim says that she will only touch it once. If you open it, mail or email, you need to action it, file it, you could immediate or do a bring forward, forward it or trash it. Kim also says that for the physical paper, we should have a staggered file folder on our desk where we can store our active work or store the things that you constantly refer to, such as phone lists or count codes, those kind of things. Now, think the same virtually. Have those documents easily accessible to make you way more efficient and neat and tidy. Number nine comes from Karen Lacey Wright from uh, Idaho. And Karen says she keeps everything in folders to keep her neat and tidy. Nothing wrong with that. And number 10 comes from me. I am also very visual as sev several of you mentioned online. And although I do like a very clean desk, I'm a big fan of using color to sort. I flag my emails with colors. I keep different color file folders on my desk like Karen does. I use physical post-it notes of different colors to tell me different things. The colors mean different things. I use pens and highlighters. So I don't clutter my life with life uh, with color. I organize my life with color so that a very quick glance, I know exactly what needs to be done. 
Now, it takes more than one day a year to get us organized, and it takes a lot of discipline to stay organized as well. I hope that some of these tips help you clean up your desk and your desktop today so that you can be more organized and efficient and to stop your coworkers from wondering how you get anything done in that mess you call a desk. Good luck. (laughs) 